Is it getting? Yes. Ah, okay. I'm live now. Okay. I'll let you go. All right. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Can anyone hear me? Is anyone? Sorry for the delay. Let's see here. Turn this camera around. Invite friends. Let's turn this around. We got two people. Okay, we're going to be starting up here soon. What I'm going to be doing is we're going to be going through some light body weight stuff. And it's going to be a pretty cool workout. We're going to have to, I'm going to change, some sh change my shoes. And we're going to get right back into this thing. We're going to do some of this stuff outside today, too. So if you have any equipment, we won't, really won't use that much. We'll use some, some bands and some things like that. One second, let's change it. Let me change my shoes. So I hope everyone can see me here. Can everyone see me well? Okay, so if you have any kind of equipment, you'll be able to use any equipment you have. I'm gonna grab a band and I have one dumbbell. All right, so you got some time to get your stuff. One second. Okay, like I said, any type of equipment that you have, you see I have some regular bands here, one 15-pound dumbbell too as well. What we're pretty much going to do is everything is going to go for 45 seconds to give you like a 15-second rest in between everything. Okay, we'll do a little bit of cardio, some core, of course, some strength work and everything else like that. You don't need a lot of space. If you can see what I'm working with, I'm just out here on my patio. It's not really big. I got furniture everywhere. Stuff like that. So what we'll do is we'll start with the light warm up. And the first thing we want to do is jumping jacks. 45 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Take it out front, out wide, out front, out wide, out front, out wide, out front, out wide. Now remember with this, with anything that we're doing, go at your own tempo. So if you get tired, you need a drink, you need to stretch, do whatever you have to do. Go ahead, take a break and get right back into it. Jacks out front, out wide, front, out wide. Turn to the side so you can see what they look like. Right here, stand on my toes. All right, keep them going. Good job. 10 more seconds, come on. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, now, we're gonna do a little bit of shuffling right here in place. Like I said, I don't have a lot of room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shuffle from side to side. Everybody, this is the class that we're doing for the JCC. All right, so now, a little bit of space here. Not gonna do a whole lot of movement. Just gonna shuffle over, bring them back. If you want to touch down, you can touch down. If you don't want to touch down, you don't have to touch down. But you just want to get some movement in. So that's all we're doing. Side to side, 45 seconds. This stuff is blowing around. It's a nice day out here. So we're just moving around. Light movement. What's going on, everybody? I had to do something today. Can't take it no more. 
Alright? 45 minutes, 45 seconds of movement. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Good job. Good work, good work. Alright now, light jog in place. Simple. Tapping them out. Not going real fast. Going at my own tempo. Remember, if you get tired, you need to take a break. Go ahead and take a break. Grab some water. If you need water, whatever it is. Alright? But you're going at your own tempo. Don't hurt yourself. I'm going to get tired. I'm going to have to take a break. Trust me. Light on your feet. Right there in place. Tap it out. Good work. Come on. With the bands that I got, I got three different kind of bands. All different levels of intensity. If you don't have a band, don't worry about it. You can use the towel. You can use the broomstick. You can use whatever you got at the house to help you get through this workout. All right? So, I mean, when we go to do squats, if you don't have a band, anything, you can use your broomstick, keep it over your head. So, we're just going to work with the stuff that we have at home. I know it's rough times for everybody. It's a little bit different right now. We're just going to make it through it. All right? So, now we're going to do some butt kicks. All right? Now, regular way butt kicks. Pop your heels up. All right? 45 seconds. Three, two, one, come on, let's go. Lighten your feet. Tapping them out. Pump your arms. Keep it quick, come on. Good job, keep it up, keep it up. Work with me, work with me. Come on. Where we at with it? 15 seconds, 15 seconds, keep it going. Good job, come on. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Good work right there. All right, now, still staying with the warm up. Now we just wanna do some body weight squats. So, whatever you need, if you have a chair at home, if you can do them standing, free weight on your own with no help. If you need to grab something to support yourself, to help you stand up while you're doing them, whatever you need. Or if you just need to grab the frame of your door. But we're going to do body weight squats, all right? 45 seconds, drop your butt, feet or shoulders width apart, okay? You want to sit straight down in there, come right back up. Straight down in there, come right back up. So. Let's go together. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Sit them down. Your weight should be in your heels. Back should be straight. Keep your head up the whole time. All right. When you come up, squeeze those glutes a little bit. Bring your hips forward. Turn so you can see me straight on. Butt straight down. Hips coming through. Good job. Come on. Stay with me. Working them out, working them out. Remember, we're gonna try to do everything for 45 seconds. Now, if you get tired in the squats, you need to stay in there, static hold, stay in that plank position, plank, I'm sorry, static position. Stay right there, drop your butt. Come on, keep them going. Give me 10 more seconds, give me 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. Grab a drink real quick, I'll be right back. Gotta treat your house like it's the gym now. All right, so while you're grabbing something to drink, water, Gatorade or whatever it is, make sure you're staying hydrated. All right, now we're gonna take this thing down to the ground. All right, bring the core into it a little bit more. So slide in some planks. So if you have a towel, yoga mat, whatever it is you wanna use, I'm gonna use a runner. 
like I said, we're gonna work with the stuff that we have in our house. So, your regular rug runner, whatever you use, it's right there in the house, all right? Now we're gonna be on planks. Like I said, we're gonna be on our elbows with these planks. All right, let's see if I can set this up down here so you can see me a little bit better, all right? So, starting off on my elbows, all right? Now, I'm not leaning forward. My toes are straight up, all right? My core is tight. My hips aren't sagging. My butt is tight too as well. All right, so we're gonna stay right here for 45 seconds. Keep it tight. Now, whenever you're doing your abs or you're doing any type of core work, you know, you start to feel yourself hurting yourself when you're doing, say, regular old school crunches. You might be pulling on your back too much or whatever it is. The planks are always a good, safe way to go. It's a static hold. The message keeps going, firing from the brain to the muscle the whole time. You actually figure out a way it teaches your muscles to build through lactic acid and fatigue a lot faster. All right, come on, 10 more seconds with it. Let's stay here. Keep it tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work right there. Good work. Whew. It's kinda high in Dallas now. It's been getting warm. All right, now. We're gonna do a push-up with a hyperextension. All right, two movements in one. So, the hyperextension, we wanna raise our shoulders, tighten our glutes up, raise our feet up off the ground, and then we're gonna go into a push-up with it. So, what it will look like, ah, if I scoot back something, you guys can see me. Hyperextension, push-up. Hyperextension, push-up, all right? We go for 45 seconds. Five, four, three, two, let's go, come on. Hyperextension, push it up. Squeeze them out, squeeze those glutes, raise it up off the ground. Remember, go at your pace. Good work. Squeezing them through, come on. If you get tired, stay in that plank position. We halfway there. Keep working. Come on, squeeze them out. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Bring it up. Getting bit by mosquitoes. Turn on my fan real quick. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I heard. They say you want to get rid of mosquitoes outside, keep your ceiling fan on out there if you got one. Alright, now going back down. We're going to a side plank. So pick an elbow, whichever one you want to start with. Alright, now we're gonna bring our arms. The elbow's gonna be right up underneath you, all right? Body is gonna be straight. From here, I'm gonna bring my hips up, all right? Don't let your hips sag. So, if you can see me this way, two, body is straight, I'm coming up, obliques are tight. We're gonna stay 45 seconds on each side. Just keep breathing. Keep the core tight. Good job, come on. Squeeze it out, squeeze it out. Good work, keep them high, keep your hips high. Stay there, come on. Good work, give me 10 more seconds, come on, we got it. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So all we're doing, switch elbows, same thing. Get your body line, coming up. Bring it up and 
Five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Keep your hips high. If you want to raise that arm up, you can raise it up. Keep right here on your side. Keep those hips high. I like to tap my side to make sure that my hips are staying up the whole time. Good job. Keep breathing. Come on. Halfway there. Good work, good work. Good job, come on. Three, two, one. Good work. All right, bring it up. Now, like I said, make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you got something to drink throughout the whole time. What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining in. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Now, going back to another squat. All right, so we're going to warm everything up. Sitting the butt down. Coming back through. Now, with this one, we're going to do a sumo squat. So we're going to open our legs up a little bit wider. Go ahead and point your toes out. Same thing, all right? We we'll drop the butt down, come right back through, squeezing our hips. All right, so we're sitting down. My back is straight. Stay right here with it. Drop the butt down. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Squeezing them out. Hips coming forward. Now, if you got any weight, dumbbells, whatever it is, and you want to use them right now, more than happy to pick them up. Do whatever you want to do with them. All right, throughout the process. We should be pretty much good and warmed up by now. All right? Come on. Keep those squats going. Sumo squat. Open those legs up. Drop your butt. Back straight. Head up. Come on. Keep working. Keep them going. Good job. We're going to come out of this. We're going to alternating forward lunges. Come on, keep going. Good job. Keep working it out. Keep working it out. Come on. Good work. All right, now, alternating forward lunges. Now, anytime you lunge, you want to try to make sure that you're catching that weight more so on your heels than on your toes. All right, so you don't want to step out, come down to your toe, pushing all that weight and all that pressure on your patella, ACL, everything else like that. You want to catch the weight in your heel Take it down, come through that hamstring, use, a little, use your core a little bit more, all right? So, alternating lunges, 45 seconds. Catch your breath when you grab some Gatorade. Thought I had some water. Two, one, let's go. Step it out, right back off. 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 Good. Catching that weight in your heel. Remember, come down in your heel. Now, if you're in a place and you can't do the step out and you want to just stay on one leg, you can concentrate on going through that single leg. All right? But if you can move it, you want to move it, Step them out, come back off. Step it out, come back off. Good work, come on. 10 more seconds with it, work it. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right, now, I'm gonna bring my bands into this, okay? So, starting with an easier band, the red band, whichever ones you have. If you don't have bands, like I said, you can use anything that you have at home. Broomstick, pillow, ball. I mean, I got my son's scooter out here. <laughs> Whatever you need to just work through this right now. Like I said, we're all going through something a little bit different here. So, but I'm gonna stand on my band, all right? Shoulder press, I'm pressing straight up. We're gonna let them touch at the top here, right back down, all right? So you can see it from the side too as well. Straight up, straight down, all right? Let's 
get them going. Five, four, three, two. Let's go, come on. Press them high. Reach it up. Reach them up. Reach them up. Reach them up. Come on. Reach for the top. Reach for the top. Now, just like I said, if I didn't have these bands, I have a broomstick here. It's the same thing. Press straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Whatever you have to work with at your house, work with whatever you have. All right? Come on. Keep them going. Keep pressing high. Good work right there. Squeeze it out. Come on. Now, no weights. You got to try to keep your guns looking good. Use these bands for so many things. All right? Now, keep them up. Come on. Keep pressing high. Keep pressing high. Squeeze them out. Squeeze them out. Now, from there, you can go right into the curl to a press with it. Wow, that's the second band I broke this week. All right? Go right to a curl to press with it. All right, coming out of the van. All right now, we're gonna take it back down to the ground. All right now, I wanna do a side to side push up, all right? So, my hands are gonna move, we're gonna keep our feet stationary. Hand over hand, hand over hand. So, if I start off right here, this hand comes over, that hand goes down, all right? Make sure you got enough space for these. So, see what it looks like? Hand over, down. Hand over, down. Hand over, down. Hand over, down. All right, we're gonna get these things going. Count it down, we got 10 seconds. A little less. Five, four, three, two, one. Hand over, down. Back up. Like I said, if you get tired, you can stay in the plank position where you're holding yourself up. Keep working. Good job, good job. Come on. Woo! Like I said, I'm gonna keep them going. Good job. Sorry about that. Going back to some movement stuff. Now, act like we have a rope. If you don't have a jump rope, we're gonna just act like we're jumping rope right here. Staying light on the toes, rolling our wrist over. Keeping them going, come on. Good work. All right, we're gonna go. Still on the right foot. 15 seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Right leg. Keep that knee up in front to bring the core into it. Come on, keep it going. Three, two, one. Good job, we're switching legs with it. Three, two, come on. 15 seconds on the left leg. Work it, work it. Good job. Come on, stay there, stay there. Three, two, one. Good work, good work. All right, now, I'm gonna grab my dumbbell for these. Right here. We got 115 pound dumbbell. So, I'm gonna go to squat drops, all right? No, I'm sorry, reverse lunges. Now it's the reverse lunge. So same thing with the reverse lunge, with the forward lunge. Try to keep that weight in that front heel, back is straight, head up. So as I sit it down, boom, I'm gonna come back through I tap my toe and I squeeze my hip to activate that glute a little bit more. So, if you can see it from the side, I sit it down, come back through, tap that toe, squeeze the hip. All right, activate that glute, okay? So, we'll go 30 seconds each leg. 
30 seconds each leg. All right. Three, two, one. Sit it down. Come through, tap. Down. Come through, tap. Back is straight. All right. Weighs in that front heel. Come on, work them. Sit it down, sit it down. Come on. Good work. Keep back straight. Come on. Show those glutes and those hamstrings. Squeeze them out, squeeze them out. 10 seconds, get it, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, catch your breath. We're gonna switch legs with it, all right? Same thing on the opposite leg. Weight is in that front heel. All right? Three, two, one, come on. Sit it down, step it through. Step it through. Good job. Back is straight. Come on. Work it. Tap that toe. Come on, 10 seconds. We got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Now, we're gonna keep activating those glutes a little bit. So, we're gonna do a light jump squat. Nothing crazy hard. You don't gotta try to jump out the gym. We do wanna try to activate the glutes. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna sit down in there. So, I drop my butt, pop it up, pop it up. Pop it up, all right? Now, you can't do that, just give me that pulse. All right, bounce it, bring it up. Bounce it, bring it up, okay? Let's go for 30 to 45 seconds. Give me what you got. Catch your breath. All right? Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, pop it up, drop it. You wanna catch that weight in your heels to absorb the blow, sink down into that squat. Catch the weight in your heels. Sit it down in there. Come on, pop it up. Keep working, let's get it, let's get it. Sorry about that. Good work, all right. Coming out that jump squat. Now, let's take it down to the ground. Bring these abs into it a little bit. All right, so we're gonna start off with the twist. All right, so sitting on my butt, now, I'm going to keep my heels off the ground, all right? I'm going to twist and touch my fingertips on each side, okay? We're going to go for 30 seconds here. Five seconds. Four, three, two, let's go. Tap, 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 tap. Heels off the ground. Touching those fingertips on each side. Come on. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work right there. All right. Staying with the core. Stand with the core. Let's go back to another plank. All right. On your elbows, keeping everything tight. This time we're gonna kick one leg up. All right. So we're bringing the glutes into it just a little bit. So on your forearms, planked out. Gonna have to cut the class short a little bit. My battery's actually about to go dead. But come on, take to that plank three. Two, one, like I said, lift one leg up. Stay there. We'll switch at 10 seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, switch legs. Butt down, hips tight, come on. Five seconds with it. Five, four, three, two. All right, give me 10 seconds, regular plank. Legs on the ground, stay tight with it. Come on, three, two, one. Good work, good work. All right, just a little light work today. 
my battery's going dead. I will be doing this more often. And I have a little bit better setup with it too. You can bring any weights you want to bring. Bands, dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever it is you want to use, all right? We'll always do some warm up, followed by a little bit of everything. Upper body, lower body. We do some core all the time too as well. Make sure you're staying safe. Make sure you're staying at home. Social distancing is important right now. Let's stay healthy, all right? Take care, everybody. See you next time.